A UC San Diego production. So, um, hi, this is Desi Bowles, um, one of your Envision staffs, and I'm here with my boss, Colin. Hey, Desi. Thanks for having me. Um, so, I guess in like all the midst of like this craziness of like what this new job is, since like obviously you're watching like this YouTube channel right now, like to you as a staff, like I know it's crazy on the student end, but as a staff member, like what does that mean for you? Um, well, I guess it means a totally new approach to working and to my job, um, which is of course not unique at UCSD. Everybody is um, working remotely and doing the best they can to remain relevant and to, um, you know, reach out to the community. Um, but I guess specifically, uh, we're concentrating on bolstering our online content. So we've got staff members who are doing online workshops, whether they're filmed or streaming. And um, we're putting a lot of effort into really increasing the amount of tutorials that we have online and um, just providing students with resources in that area. But um, also there's a lot of thought and effort being put into just community outreach and making sure that people are taken care of and feel safe and you know still feel like they're part of the UCSD community at large and um, you know that of course is very important right now hmm. where do you think like in the next couple of months um this is all gonna go like for students and staff specifically at UCSD uh, well, I guess that's the question, right? Um, and nobody really knows. Um, you know, we, we have been getting fairly regular updates from the administration and from the dean's office in the engineering school, so that's been incredibly helpful. Um, but in terms of, you know, are we going to be back in the classrooms anytime soon? That's, of course, up in the air, and, and who really knows? Um, it does seem that whatever happens, we're, we're going to come out of this with um, a much better, I guess, tighter infrastructure, and we're going to have a lot more versatility in how we approach education. I think that the amount of work that's gone into just creating online resources and providing ways for faculty members and um, staff to, to reach the students during this time has been incredible. There's been a, a ton of work in that area. I mean, of course, <laughs> all classes are online now, so that's, that's a very big deal, and that's a shift that happens within two weeks, you know, finals week and, and spring break. We switched from an in-person uh, teaching method to entirely online um, and I, I think that's gonna in some way be a permanent feature of UCSD which is great I think that's um, really an important part of being able to um, reach students during times like this and and who knows what the future holds in terms of uh, getting back to normal and um, you know returning at some point yeah speaking of like the quote-unquote back to normal do you think after this like our new normal will be vastly different than what it was before um well how can it how can it not be right um we, we've all gone through such a, a drastic change over the last few months that um you know, of course, people are going to be more cautious when they're going out. People are going to be more aware of their surroundings. I think people will definitely be more health conscious. Um, but also, in, in maybe a larger sense, uh, I hope that you know this has the effect of really shining a light on um, some of the 
inequities that have been a part of um, our culture for, well, forever. <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I think that's really becoming incredibly apparent now as uh, we watch people struggle economically and um, mentally and emotionally. Uh, so I think, you know, hopefully the new normal incorporates some of that learning. Hmm. And as a person who's, you know, obviously graduated through UCSD and like, do you think that like this will be for the betterment? Like, do you think like, cause you did like a whole bunch of like tech music and stuff like that. Like, do you think the school will be able to like provide almost like a better education since things will be um, more like online readily available? Or do you think this will actually like harm like some of our programs that are like set in like a certain type of way? Um, well, I, I guess I think it could go either way, right? Um, and it's really difficult to say right now. I think that we've done a fairly amazing job in terms of um, just reimagining how we approach education at UCSD. It was kind of incredible to see the whole uh, teaching methodology switch in a, a two-week time period. You know, we had finals week and spring break uh, in order to move all of our classes from in-person to online. And I think that was done um, fairly successfully. I mean, the students that I've talked to have not had too much difficulty with that. Uh, of course, there are always going to be issues, but I think that, um, you know, just the fact that we're continuing um, at all is is kind of amazing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think some of this will stick around. Um, you know, certainly in terms of our infrastructure, things are going to be different. Um, Certainly how we interact socially on campus will change. Uh, of course, you know, Envision in particular being a space that's dedicated to hands-on work, we're, we're going to have to really rethink how people interact in the space, how people work. Um, so yeah, I, I foresee a lot of fairly big changes. Um, and I think some of those will probably stick around. And I, I think, you know, that's very much for the better. Um, I think it's great that we're, we're bolstering our online resources and we're um, able to provide materials for people in remote situations. And, uh, you know, it speaks to our overall resilience. So when the school does eventually open up and stuff, like, because our job specifically is to, like, have, like, one-on-one -on -one, like interactions or even like one on like 20 people interactions where we're like in a big space like do you think how we interact with students is going to change also drastically like do you think these maker spaces and like these areas where like a bunch of people are supposed to gather like do you think like that whole concept will like kind of change or do you think it'll just go back um, well, your interaction will definitely change because you're graduating, so you'll, you'll have far less interaction with students. But, um, no, I, I think it will largely return. Uh, who knows how quickly that will happen, um, or what it will look like. But, yeah, there's really no substitute for the types of things that we do in person in Envision. And I think that's fairly apparent. Um, you know, online workshops are great. Um, it's great to uh, watch someone, you know, doing something, but it's, it's no substitute for having that person show you in person how something is done. Um, and being able to use uh, tools and put your hands on machines. Um, that's just something that most people don't have access to during this time. So I, I think that, yeah, people are clamoring to go back to that. And I think that will largely continue. I think that um, people are really excited to get back and, you know, put their hands on some tools and uh, 
see some other people in person. Yeah, I, I definitely think that like most students are like, that were like originally excited to be able to stay at home and like not have to go to campus. I think a lot of them are really missing like just the sheer act of like getting on the bus and being like, okay, like I'm ready to like, like put myself in this mindset of like learning. Yeah. Um, and another thing I think is important to remember in that regard is that uh, this has only been for a very limited time thus far. Um, and um, we have to remember that, you know, what we've known for our entire lives up to this point has been social interaction. And, um, you know, as, as human beings, we are social creatures. And I think we, we need that interaction. And I think people are craving it. And people, as soon as they're able, will run back to each other and uh, connect. Well, thank you, for Colin, for um, having this interview time, and... Um, Indeed, thanks for having me. Yeah, um, we'll see what happens in the upcoming months. Thank you. Okay.